Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about some of my current drugstore favorites. Many of these I also feel like are very underrated. I'm like, where where is the hype? Because these products are incredible and I feel like not enough people are talking about them. Some of them definitely do get some hype though, so it's not all like underrated, but these are definitely just across the board drugstore gems. I have quite a bit of makeup, but I also have some skincare, hair care, body care, so I'm excited to share some current just like drugstore gems that I've been loving. Let's go ahead and get into the products. So the first product is a new one from my longtime favorite antiperspirant deodorant brand, and this is from Certain Dry. This is their new prescription strength clinical dry spray. And I am so excited to say that this portion of today's video is sponsored by Certain Dry. I'm so excited to be saying that because I have been using Certain Dry products since before I ever started my channel. So when they reached out to me a couple months ago about potentially partnering on a video, I just about lost my marbles because uh, I've been using this brand for years. I love their products. So it just felt like such a perfect partnership. So what I love about Certain Dry, they are one of the few cruelty-free antiperspirant brands. It is so hard to find a cruelty-free deodorant that also contains antiperspirant for some reason. I don't know why it's so hard to find those, but Certain Dry has been my go-to for years. They recently added a new product to their line. This is their prescription strength clinical dry spray. So this is an antiperspirant deodorant and it comes in the extra fresh scent. I really love the scent of this. It's a little bit different than the scent of their Everyday Strength Solid that I also use and love. This, it's got kind of like a masculine scent, but it's a really nice, fresh, clean scent at the same time. And it's not overpowering to where it's going to compete with like my perfume or anything. It's just a really nice, clean, classic scent to me. And this is essentially a completely invisible dry spray product that basically just stops sweat before it starts. It also keeps you smelling fresh all day, honestly, into the next day. Like, I just really like that, you know, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it. And that's, it really just does what it is supposed to do. The great thing about this product too is I can spray it on while I'm wearing clothes. Like today, I sprayed it on. I didn't end up with like a white powder all over my shirt. It truly is invisible, so you, you don't have to worry about it staining your clothes or anything. Um, this would be a great thing to like throw in your gym bag or um, just to use as your everyday antiperspirant deodorant product. That's how I've been using it for the past two weeks and I've been loving it. I just love not having to worry about sweating, about you know, any kind of body odor. Certain Dry is the number one doctor recommended antiperspirant brand, and they offer one of the highest levels of clinical strength sweat protection without a prescription. So you can get it over the counter. This product is available at CVS. And if you're interested in checking it out, I will leave it linked down below in my description box. Highly recommend. I love their products. So many of you guys have told me that you have gone out and tried Certain Dry after struggling to find a good cruelty-free product and it works. It works. So, so excited to be partnering with them on today's video. And I will leave all the information about their new dry spray antiperspirant down below in the description box. All right, so let's talk about what's on my eyes because both of the eyeshadow products I'm wearing are under $5, which I still can't believe. These are both featured in my video testing under $5 makeup, but these are the two products I'm wearing. The Essence Coral Me Maybe eyeshadow palette and really the star of the show, the LA Girl Dream Glitter iridescent liquid eyeshadow. So I do think that the Essence six pan palettes um, are relatively well known. I think these get a decent amount of hype, but um, I am just going to add to the hype because these really are amazing. $4.99 for six eyeshadows, they perform beautifully. Um, I have had no issues with any of these shadows. Today I'm wearing just this kind of lighter matte shade in my crease. It's just a nice kind of warm toned transition color. And then I tapped this next shimmer shade over basically all over my lid. And then this light champagne color in the inner corner. I love how compact it is. It feels well made. These, these do not feel like $5 eyeshadows whatsoever. So had to mention that I've been loving that little palette. And I love these kinds of tones really all year round, but especially in the spring and summer. Really been loving that palette. And then the LA Girl Dream Glitter. This is a product that I don't think I've heard anyone talk about. In fact, I had never heard of it when I stumbled across it at Ulta and I thought I'd give it a try because it is also under $5. To me, this product is basically, 
identical to the Stila Glitter and Glows. I mean, I don't have any Stila Glitter and Glows in my collection right now, but I have used several of them up in the past. And to me, they're basically identical in terms of the way they perform, the way they look on the eyes. I swatched it on my hand so you could really get a good look at how gorgeous this color is. I have the shade Rose Gold. And it's, it's very shifty. It's kind of got kind of a duochrome quality to it. And it does have little glitter particles that really do stick onto your eyes. I don't find that I have to use like a glitter glue with this at all. I don't end up with those glitters like falling onto my face or into my vision throughout the day. You know, sometimes they like land in your eyelashes and then you get these random little flashes of glitter in your vision all day. Doesn't happen with this. Um, it, it just, it makes a beautiful topper over those coral shadows from Essence, but it would also make a beautiful just like one and done shadow too. And it comes in so many other shades. I'm really tempted to pick up more. I'm going to try not to because this is the kind of product that, you know, you really do want to make a point to use it because these can dry out. Now I am curious to see how quickly this dries out. With the Stila Glitter and Glows, those dried out on me pretty quickly. So time will tell on this, but it's $5. So even if it does dry out, I'm not, it's not like I'm wasting a ton of money. Uh, whereas with the Stila Glitter and Glows, I really can't justify $24 for a single eyeshadow. But this shade, even though it is only $5, it looks to me like a high-end shadow. Like they look like really beautiful, like iridescent kind of foiled, duochrome type of shades. Now, the only problem is it only comes in, at least on Ulta's website, it only comes in five shades. So um, not a ton of variety, but the shades that it comes in look pretty. Like there's this really pretty like almost multi-chrome looking green. It's like a greenish purple shifty shadow. Um, there's kind of like a silvery taupe one and like a reddish coral one. So yeah, I don't know why no one's talking about these. A really LA girl as a brand is kind of underrated. I'm just now kind of getting into the brand myself. Now I'm tempted to try more products from LA Girl. So if you guys have any other LA Girl recommendations, let me know because this, this is, this is amazing. Let's see. So another product, this is another product that I, I think is fairly well known, but I feel like I haven't talked about it enough on my channel for how much I love it. I think because I was kind of going through a pressed powder phase, but now I'm kind of getting back into loose powders. So this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. It's a translucent setting powder, although I do think it comes in a few different shades. I have the shade Light. This is stunning. So if you remember a long time ago, I used to rave about the e.l.f. HD powder in the shade Soft Luminance. And from my memory at least, I actually like this powder a little bit better than soft luminance from them because it doesn't have any shimmer to it. Soft luminance did have like little tiny shimmer particles that really didn't bother me. Like I didn't feel like they showed up on my skin, but like if you got into like direct sunlight, you would notice those little tiny particles. This doesn't have any of that, but it is still on the slightly luminous side. It's not going to make you look like the Tin Man. It's not going to make you look shiny or like metallic or anything weird like that, but it just gives you this really beautiful, like soft focus glow, but it sets your makeup so well. Also, like you can just use the smallest amount on your under eyes. It's very finely milled. Today I'm wearing it on my under eyes and then I did just take, I, I really didn't powder my entire face today. I kind of just kept it to like this area, the nose, the center of the forehead. Those are the main parts that I set today. I think this is a great setting powder for dry skin, dull skin. All right, so another product from Essence I've been loving is their The Blush in the shade Befitting. I know a lot of people love these blushes. These are like $3 blushes. This shade is just the perfect kind of everyday neutral pinky nude blush color, especially if you have fair skin. This is what I have on today. I'm also wearing their Pure Nude Highlighter. This I'm still testing out. Unfortunately, I think this is just ever so slightly too deep for me, but Look at that pretty finish that it has on my skin. I'm still trying to decide if I can make it work. Today I used a very light hand and I feel like it's not, not too obvious that it's too dark on me, maybe a little bit, like you can kind of tell, but I feel like I'm able to make it work. I, I think the key is just to use a very small amount, which really is the key with a lot of products. But I like that the shade is matte and it's just, it's so blendable, so effortless. I feel like I could wear this every day with any makeup look. If I'm ever doing a look where I'm not quite sure what blush to pair with the eye look or something, this one I feel like it's just, it's always gonna look good. So loving that. I'm so excited about Essence now. Another makeup product, I've definitely talked about this a few times and I tried to stick in this video to just products that I haven't talked about a million times already. But this one, I know I've mentioned a few times, but I felt like 
I, I wanted to mention it again. This is the Makeup Revolution Fix and Glow Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I also have this on my face today, so a lot of the glow is coming from this as well. But this is like one of my current favorite products in my collection. I just, I, I love it. I think it's my all-time favorite setting spray, at least for now. I've already used so much of this. I feel like I'm at this rate, I'm probably gonna use this up this year because this is really the main setting spray that I've been wanting to reach for on a daily basis. It is glowy. It does have really, really fine shimmer particles to it, which I know sounds scary, but even I, as someone who I don't, I don't really like to have like shimmer particles on, all over my face unless it's like a blush that's glowy or a glowy highlighter, obviously, but I don't really like to have a ton of shimmer just like all over the place on my face, but this it looks amazing. The shimmer, you don't actually, like, even when I look up really, really close at my skin, I don't see any, like, actual glitter on my face. It just, it really just gives your entire face this beautiful, almost glass skin-like effect. And I don't throw that term around lightly. Like, I feel like glass skin, like, what does that even mean? But this, like, my skin just looks so smooth. And the thing I really like about this is that it is glowy, but it doesn't feel oily, tacky, anything like that. Um, it just kind of like melts all my makeup together and it gives my entire face the most beautiful glowy finish that's not too over the top. Let's switch gears and talk about some hair products now. So these are both from Eva NYC. I used both of these in my hair today. Um, these are their City Grit Matte Texture Spray and their Shape Shifter Flexible Hair Spray. And I feel like these have basically eliminated the need for me to ever buy a high-end texture spray or hairspray. I used to really love the Dry Bar Triple Sec, which was basically a texture spray. And I really did feel like that one was worth the money for a long time. But honestly, the more I've used this, the more I've kind of realized I don't think I ever need to go back to the triple sec because as much as I love that product, I just really like the way my hair feels when I use this too. And it's 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 a fraction of the price and you get more product in it too. So both of these have that classic Eva NYC scent, kind of just like a vanilla scent. This I just like to, after I've curled my hair, I just like to kind of lift up sections and kind of spray it throughout just to give my hair a little bit of body and volume because I do have quite fine hair. It can get very like flat and stringy. So a product like this is definitely a must for me. And I've just been loving that. Like I, yeah, I just, I feel like this is gonna be my go-to from now on. Um, and then I'm also really loving their Shape Shifter Flexible Hairspray. I recently used up a hairspray from Cake, which is another drugstore brand. I think I like this one a little bit better. I think this one has even better hold. Like I feel like my curls will last into the, into the next day. As long as I, pull my hair out of my face and just kind of tie it up into like a loose scrunchie. I'm able to keep like my second day curls looking good. And I wash my hair at least every other day, so I don't really need it to last any longer than that. They call it a flexible hairspray, which I would agree with. It, it doesn't give my hair like that terribly crunchy feeling. When I first spray it in, it's a little bit stiff, but then I can kind of like work my fingers through it and it just, it feels very soft. It doesn't feel like I'm not wearing any product at all, but my hair is still bouncy. It doesn't necessarily look like I'm wearing a ton of hairspray, but I did spray a pretty generous amount in. And also, I think, I'm pretty sure Eva NYC is like the sister company of Amika. So if you like Amika products, you can usually find a, a comparable, like, not necessarily dupe, but like a good alternative to an Amika product from the Eva NYC line. Now I will say their hair mask is not as good as the Amika hair mask. That is one product that I do feel like is kind of worth the extra price, but um, these two I do feel like. I also have the Amika Texture Spray, and this one from Eva NYC, I'm telling you, it does the exact same thing. They just smell a little bit different, so. Also, some skincare products I've been loving. These are from Bliss. I talked about these in a video a couple weeks ago about packaging that I actually really like, specifically like more sustainable packaging. So these are from their Mighty Biome line. Um, and I've been using these for the past couple of weeks as well. And I feel like ever since I started using both of these, my skin has been both looking and feeling so healthy. Like I haven't been getting any breakouts. Knock on wood, I hate to say that out loud because I know now that I said that I'm gonna start breaking out. But also my, I just feel like my skin has been feeling and looking so like extra glowy and healthy. So first I have their Skin Balancing Milky Toner Plus Serum and then their hydrating, their ultra hydrating moisturizer concentrate. Now in this line, they also have a cleansing balm. Unfortunately, I don't recommend the cleansing balm. 
it's just not great. Like it, it gets the job done mostly, but it doesn't quite remove all my eye makeup and it just feels very waxy. It doesn't really emulsify. So unfortunately I can't recommend the cleansing balm. As much as I love the, the metal packaging, and I definitely hope that they continue to use that type of packaging in other products, I think the next cleansing balm I want to try is from Good Molecules. That one is also in an aluminum tin, and that one I've heard is really good. So anyway, tangent there. I, I would recommend skipping the cleansing balm, but these two products I, I really do recommend. So the Skin Balancing Milky Toner and Serum, it really is milky. Like this is a lot thicker than most toners that I've experienced. I like that it's kind of a toner and serum in one because I'm a really big fan of just like a, a very pared down, simple, minimal skincare routine. Very, very gentle, completely fragrance-free, both of these are. And I just feel like they soothe the heck out of my skin. <laughs> like, especially after I apply this toner, my skin just feels so replenished and ready for moisturizer. Um, and then this Ultra Hydrating Moisturizer Concentrate. This is one of my favorite types of products. It's kind of like, similar to the Paula's Choice, Skin Recovery Hydrating Treatment Mask. This I've been applying as the last step of my nighttime skincare routine, but today I used it as my moisturizer and I feel like it works just fine underneath makeup even though it is a thicker moisturizer. Again, it's fragrance free and it just has the most beautiful feeling. Like if you have dry skin, this is a satisfying moisturizer to put on. Like it's buttery, it's creamy, it's thick. It just feels very occlusive and protective and I just feel like my skin like eats it up. Um, and when I wake up in the morning after using this, I just feel like my skin is glowing, it's healthy, it's plump, radiant, like just really, really nice. So I don't know, I just feel like I haven't really changed anything else in my skincare routine other than these two products. And ever since I've started using both of these, I've been very happy with my skin. So bonus points too that the packaging is made out of recyclable aluminum. Um, the only thing I'll say with the toner, you got to be careful because the opening is just, it's wide open. So um, they say to put it on like a cotton pad. You could just kind of put that on there, turn it upside down and dispense it that way. I prefer to just apply toners with my hands. I feel like I waste less product. I don't really feel like I want the extra abrasiveness of a cotton pad. So I will just kind of gently tip some into my hand and apply it straight on that way. It definitely does take some getting used to the packaging. I feel like if you're using a cotton round, you won't have to worry about it, but if you are applying it just straight to your hands, the first time I used it, I got way too much, but now that I've gotten the hang of it, it's not a problem. So just something to be aware of, but I've been loving both of these. Also, the packaging is so cute. All right, so last thing, a body care product. This might seem kind of random, but I love sharing body care recommendations because I feel like, I don't know, they don't get as much airtime on YouTube, but um, body care products are important too. So this is from Tree Hut, and I know this is a very popular product. I'm just now finally trying it, but this is their moisturizing shave oil. So it's you would use it like you would use a shaving cream or shaving foam, but it's in the form of an oil. I got the watermelon scent. They have a bunch of scents. I really wanted like the vanilla one, but they didn't have that at Ulta. But the watermelon scent is really fun. I mean, it smells exactly like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, which I enjoy that scent. I feel like it's a perfect scent for summer. My main like concern <laughs> with this product was that it was going to be too oily and that it would make my like shower floor slippery, but that has not at all been the case. They call it a shave oil. I would more so describe this as like an oil gel sort of product. So it comes out more like a gel, but it feels like it has some really good moisturizing oils in it. So it's not just slipping and sliding everywhere. It hasn't made my shower floor slippery. It's a really nice texture and I feel like I'm able to get a really nice close shave. My razor just kind of glides on there really nicely. Um, I always moisturize afterwards, of course, but it doesn't leave my skin feeling like dry and tight and awful. So yeah, really liking that. I can definitely see why so many people love this product. I keep getting water everywhere because it was still wet for my shower, but I still really want to try the Tree Hut body scrubs because I've heard those are really good too. So that's next on my list. But those are some of the drugstore products that I have been loving recently, many of which I feel like are kind of hidden gems or just lesser known. Another big thank you again to Certain Dry for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out their new dry spray available at CVS. I will leave that linked down below for you guys. But thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you've not already and hopefully I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye.
Thank you.